Pay no attention to that expert speaking on camera during a TV interview from home. Moraka has what can only be described as a background report. What is that on the wall? What's your musical instrument? I'm getting a background check from writer and fashion commentator Simon Doonan and designer Jonathan Adler. That is the trumpet that my father took up late in life and was one of the loves of his life. It is my most prized possession. With so many of us sheltering in place, the places where we shelter have become objects of fascination. This world that we're living in now, where we're constantly on view, FaceTime, Zoom calls, has turned everyone into an obsessive art director. With a view of public figures in their private spaces, here's the ordinarily flamboyant Lady Gaga. We're in my office. She's very conservative looking. This is Gaga running the HR department. I like it. <laughs> Daily Show host Trevor Noah. These are actually African heritage domes. He has really nailed it. And on the right side, we see that he won some sort of award, which gives him an award-winning presence. <laughs> Journalist Cynthia McFadden. It's very well composed in a way that sort of creates serenity and looks very chic and appealing. Thank you! And Senator Bernie Sanders. I would hope that no matter what your political view is. I appreciate that he has the chess set, which says, I'm a strategic thinker, which is important. Some stars don't need any background at all. You can send somebody a virtual hug. Only a real international global icon can do this kind of level of simplicity. Well, the way. This is our Jim Gaffigan. And I have to tell you right away, I love his chandeliers. I've never seen so many chandeliers. <laughs> it adds a little unexpected burst of glamour to Jim Gaffigan. Be safe, everyone. We're going to get through this. Seeing the couch they have could be the most interesting information that you learn today that's not horrifying. Amanda Hess is a critic at large for The New York Times. She says focusing on the scenery can be a welcome distraction. There's something soothing about meditating on the pattern of Reese Witherspoon's chair. Yes, <laughs> even though it couldn't be less important, but that's part of what makes it so nice. Of course, public figures are used to being public, but what about everybody else? What we're divulging by letting people see us in our home environments, I don't know, I wonder if we're gonna regret this. <laughs> It's certainly possible, but I've found that, you know, when I get on a Zoom chat with my colleagues, I'm looking at their surroundings and I'm certainly interested, but I don't think I'm judgmental because for the most part, somebody else is, is looking at your apartment too. So it's this mutual experience. Mutual, but not always equal. Students suddenly having to take classes online and seeing each other's home environments are learning about their own class differences. It has revealed these uh, divides and, and also probably connections between people that um, may never have been revealed otherwise. Of course, the era of revealing ourselves via video chat I think one of your children's just walked in. I mean, shifting, predates the COVID-19 crisis. Remember Professor Robert Kelly? You may know him better as BBC Dad. At the time, you know, it was this like sensational viral thing. And now it's just normal. Now we're all BBC Dad. <laughs> we are all BBC Dad now. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Hanks. After all, we're living in an era when Tom Hanks hosted Saturday Night Live from his kitchen. That is some sound effect of applause. Somebody told me that they think that a lot of big Hollywood stars are using their kitchens because there's a little bit of a democratizing effect at work. Do you think there's anything to that? Yeah, I do. I think that's actually a great point. Like, we all have kitchens, and yeah, you don't look around and see the sort of Jim Gaffigan level of chandeliers and glamour. Um, you know, it humanizes Tom Hanks. Jim Gaffigan's the one who really misplayed it by showing that he basically lives in Versailles. I hear another commentary being written right now. 